to the first episode of 2021 of the Thought Leadership Podcast and live show. And today we are going to talk about creating an amazing, fun, exciting, profitable game plan for your upcoming 90 days. And as I'm recording this, we are entering the first weekend after the first full week, let's say, of work. So if you're listening and watching this, you have maybe been working on your, you know, going back with your clients and then going back to your inbox and kind of getting it all together and see where are you going with this upcoming 90 days. And this week, especially when I'm recording this, I had a a session with my clients in Momentum, our members who are uh, growing their coaching consulting business and their impact. And the first thing we did this year was really to come together and plan out what's going to happen. Where did they want to go? What's really important? So they have the full clarity and full, uh, you know, understanding about what really matters in their business. And this episode is based on the bigger work that we do in Momentum in our program, in our six months program. And it's really really kind of giving you a couple of examples and questions that you can get started with as we go through. So my goal with this is really to give you, you know, if you're having a hard time entering after Christmas break, New Year, and you're not really sure where to go and you don't really know what to focus on, um, you know, in the upcoming weeks, upcoming months in coaching, consulting business, this is for you. It's going to really help you to kind of get a good understanding. I'm going to guide you through a couple of questions that I usually use in our sessions. It's going to help you and to make it even more simple for you to apply because that's my goal of each and one of the episodes we are creating, the live show on YouTube, on all the videos that we are doing on social media. It's for you to actually take action on this. So I want you to do that with a checklist, with actual roadmap workbook that you can download in the episode below. So you can can just check in the descriptions, you'll be able to find um, all the questions I'm going through here. So just make sure to download that. And when you go through these questions after your game plan of the upcoming 90 days, make sure to stop, you know, because you can, you know, this is recorded for you. So you can stop when I'm going through this, kind of write it through in your workbook and then continue as you go. And it can take you 60 minutes, 90 minutes to go through that. But I promise you, if you do this work, your 90 upcoming days are going to be much more clear. You will know where you're going. You will be able to really focus on what matters in your coaching consulting business. It will create more impact. So I'm really excited for you that you're listening and watching this. And if you are loving this, if you think that this is valuable for you, please comment below. Please like this and share it with your community for the ones who need to hear. But if you have peers who would really benefit from hearing all this um, knowledge and all these questions, make sure to tag them, make sure to share it with them so they can also benefit from this. And of course, if you love what we do, please, please leave a review on iTunes and all the podcasts, different platforms, and of course, on social media. So we count on you on sharing the word so we can bring more impact together in 2021. All right, so let's just go into why are we doing this game plan? I already mentioned a couple of things, but I just want to make really sure that you understand the value of doing a quick game plan before you kick off in this new Q1. One of the first things you want to focus on is to really going from this overwhelm, from not knowing where to start, to have a real clear focus on the next steps. So here the goal is to really find focus. The second thing we want to create is a routine of effective actions because you've been maybe been on holidays, you've been half working or not having a break and at Christmas and New Year usually it's a moment where your routines and your habits are changing. So you want to make sure that you can ease in into your habits and your routines so you feel really good to enter this next upcoming week knowing exactly what to do. When you have a habit and routine, it really allows you to kind of ease in, kind of have that clarity, feel good about where you're going and not having that overwhelm. And the third thing and one of the reasons is that you want to create focus on profit generating activities. If you have a coaching consulting business, you also want to make sure it's sustainable. So we want to make sure that you as the founder, as the coach, as the consultant, as the expert are really focusing on the right things so you can move your business forward, so you can really create more impact. So those are the things, the profit, the routine, and the focus. And again, if you're listening and watching this, make sure to download the actual questions we're going to go through right now so you can also, you know, have it next to you and you can write it out and you can work through that as we go. 
Okay, so I have 10 questions for you. And those 10 questions are going to help you so much to have the clarity for the upcoming 90 days. So let's go right into the questions. And I'm going to give you a bit of a background why I ask you those questions, but for us to have a good experience. So number one, very simple and very straightforward. How much revenue do you want to generate per month with your coaching consulting business? I want you to write down that number and think, is it 5K? Is it 10K? Is it 3K? Is it 20K? What do you want to create that you really believe that you can create? And it's also about, you know, when we do a 10 year vision or when we do the roadmap, it's a bit bigger. But when we do the game plan, when we, what we're doing right now, we want to be able to see that I believe that I'm capable of that. You maybe don't know how to get there. You don't need to know how, but you want to say like, OK, I want to work towards that goal. I want to commit to this you know, 10K stable or I want to commit to 5K stable, or 20K stable, wherever feels right to you. Just whatever feels right to you. So write that down. Write that number down. Number one. So question number one is how much revenue do you want to generate per month? OK, number two is how much how many new clients does this represent per month? So let's say if you want to create 10K in your coaching business, you know, profit um, 10K sustainable in your coaching business in the upcoming 90 days, how many clients does that represent? If you have an offer that is, let's say, 5K, that means two clients in 90 days. If that uh, maybe if you have an offer that is 1,000, then you need to, you need to have 10 clients um, per month, right? Because you want to create per month uh, revenue goals. If it's, let's say, 3.5, then maybe you need to have three clients per month. So you want to write down how many new clients does this represent? And if you have several offers, if you have a, like a group coaching and one VIP offer, then you want to create two different um, offers, like two different numbers for that. So how many new clients does this represent per month? You want to write that down. Okay. Question number three. So how many clients per week do you need to get there? So we went from having the, the revenue goal of, let's say, 10K. And now we're going down to how many clients per month. And maybe we, let's say we, you're having a offer at 2K and you need to have five clients to get there. And so how many clients does that represent per week? And then in that case, if I, the example I just took, maybe it will be one or you know two clients so how many new clients per week do you need to get to your revenue goal okay question number four if you're selling high ticket and if you're working with higher offers usually there's involved a sales goals in your conversations you're probably getting on the phone and you're having conversation with the potential clients um, and they are either choose to work with you or not. So how many sales calls do you need to have per week to, to have enough clients? So let's say if your goal is to have one client extra per week, you, you want to be able to have one new client per week. And you know that usually your conversion rate is 50%, then maybe you need to have two sales calls. If you are having harder time closing, maybe you need to have three sales calls. You want to write that number down so you know how many people you need to speak to potential clients per week. So you're able to kind of reach the number that you're looking at. Okay, so that's question number um, number four. How many new, how many sales calls do you need to have per week to close those clients? Okay, let's continue to, in order to get those sales calls, how will you fill them up? What are the sales efforts that you're putting in place? So we are really going backwards. We're thinking about, you know, first the revenue, the clients, the sales conversation, your sales calls, your strategy calls, wherever you're calling them. And then we want to go back to thinking, well, how do I actually get people to book that call? What actions are you going to take in the upcoming 90 days for people to book that call? I'm going to give you a couple of examples. It can be webinars, it can be ads, it can be emails, maybe it's your social media post, maybe direct outreach. What are you doing in order to have those um, sales, to book those calls? Just if you want to pause my me speaking, you can do that and you can always go back. And remember, if you want to be able to go through this and actually be able to write it down. You always have the workbook that goes with this. It's going to make it even easier for, for you to go through those questions. Just download it below in the description. 
Okay, so the question is, how will you fill up those calls? So if you know that you need two or three calls per week, what are the actions you can take so you can create, you know, proactively have more people uh, booking a call with you? Okay, we have a couple more questions to go. Question number five. How will you add free value to your network every week? So you might do, let's say, a webinar, right? Or you might do Facebook ads, but you also want to have people, you know, give people access to, to some type of free values so they can discover you consistently every week. And a couple of examples of what that could look like could be a podcast, or it could be an evergreen content on your YouTube channel, or it can be a blog, or maybe a, uh, or an email sequence that you put up. Something that people can find and they can learn from you, getting some value from you, some evergreen evergreen content, we call it evergreen content. So what type of evergreen content can you create every week? So for me, since my li live show and my podcast is something that I record and produce twice a week, and that's something I'm doing every week. So once someone is going back, they can already watch when as I'm recording this, 22 previous episodes. There's a lot of content and a lot of value for someone who's coach consultant wanting to grow their business. So think about what do you have that you can create that is going to consistently show your you know, dream clients and add value to them in their feed, in on their social media. If they go on Google, if they go on YouTube, they will be able to find you. What can you do that's gonna help them to do that? So that's question number five. Now. It's easy to do it once, but how do you create a routine for that? That's question number six. How do you create a weekly routine for the activities that we mentioned above? So if let's say that you have, you know, your webinars, you have your email list, you might have a podcast and you have your sales calls. Like, how do you create a routine for that? When we do this in our program Momentum, we really write it down and we look into the week together and how many hours it's going to take and how they can plan that. But as we're doing this in a shorter version right now, I just want you to think, what's that weekly routine? I want you to proactively create a routine for yourself and saying, well, okay, I have my coaching calls. I have, you know, I'm doing this and that administration. But in terms of when do I produce, how much hours do I spend on producing podcasts? like the long-term marketing strategy, how much time do I spend on uh, creating a webinar or actually, you know, giving the live webinar? How much time do I spend on interviews? Like think about the type of activities that you are doing and plan it out. How much time would that take and how would that look like in the week? Is it every day that you're doing something or do you have a specific day that you're producing content? Like how would you plan that out? That's my question number six. What's your weekly routine for the mentioned activities above? Okay, we have three more questions to go and gonna help you so, so much. So keep going. I know it's like a lot to ask yourself, but again, you can always pause me. You can always come back to this and you can always take the roadmap and actually go through the Q1 game plan yourself, print it out or write it on your computer. All the questions are below. I want you to be able to go through that in your own pace. Okay, now question number eight. What's in the way? What would stop you from getting there? So. Let's say that you know how many, you know, your revenue, you know how many clients you want to get, you want to know how many, um, you know, sales calls you want to have, you know what type of sales support you're going to do, maybe a webinar or something else, email support, like email uh, messages or posts about, you know, your offers. You know you're going to create maybe evergreen content, it's going to support you like a podcast or YouTube channel or something else that people can find you and they can really learn from you and they can start to discover who you are. And now... What's going to happen? Why would that not work for you? What, what has happened before that allowed you, where, where you slipped or well, you started off really well, like, you know, when we started all, all in January going to the gym or, you know, working out, being so healthy and amazing. And then and after one month, we just kind of give up. So you want to have a plan B already. Something might happen, it might be procrastination, or you might get bored, or you know that you get overwhelmed, or maybe you, you know, you have the goals that you're putting are not really the goals that you believe in. And what is it that you might be doing that is, has stopped you before from getting where you want? I want you to think about the plan B for that right now. So with your goals, with your dreams, what you're creating for the upcoming 90 days, what type of plan B do you need to create for yourself? 
And it can be imposter syndrome. It can be that you are overthinking it and maybe you need to do something so you can snap out of that. Or what is it? Perfectionism. Something that will maybe be hard for you to kind of, you know, to when you're in it, you be, will be able to use your plan B and say, hey, I'm doing this right now. Let's do this instead so you can snap out of that and come back to that, you know, creative state that you're going to so much uh, enjoy and get so much benefit from. So what is that thing that you can do to help yourself to have a plan B whenever you get into imposter or perfectionism or overthinking? What can you do to get back into this creative state? That's my question. What do you need to get there? So question number nine that's the plan B. Is there something else that can help you to get there? Perhaps if you learn some skills, it will help you. Perhaps being part of a coaching program or getting trained in t- and getting the support to build your business can be help you. And perhaps it's being, you know, planning a day in the week when you're, you're just focusing on something specifically or, you know, really learning a specific, specific, specific skills getting a team member, hire someone, is there something you can do to accelerate it, to make it more easy for you to actually do it? What is that thing that you can do to facilitate that journey? If you know that you will have already plan B, we talked about in question number eight, and the question number nine was, well, is there anything else that you can do to accelerate that? Think about that. Is there some help you can get? And the final questions, When you reach that goal, your revenue goal, how many clients you can support, you're reaching that goal of, you know, really making an impact with your business, how will you celebrate that? That's my question number 10, because if you're a coach consultant and you're high performer and you want to create impact, you always want to create more impact, right? We want to be able to help more people with our, and serve more people because we want to be able to really help others to, you know, grow and, and improve. But you want to be able to celebrate yourself as well because you have, you know, if you're getting on this journey, you want to really celebrate that you're getting to that milestone and you're working on your goals and you're showing up every day. How will you celebrate that? What will you do to really say to yourself that, well, actually it's worth doing all this journey because I'm going to celebrate it no matter what. When I get there, I'm going to celebrate so how far I've come. I want you to write it down. How will you celebrate that? That's my question number 10. And this is really all the questions I have for you today, I want you to take the time to go through the, that in the workbook that I have in the description below. And I want you to go through that and really think about those questions. These 10 questions are going to set you up for success in the upcoming 90 days, Q1, going strong in. And I really want the best for you. And when you're listening to this and when you're watching this, my dream and wish with this episode is for you to really step into your power and really impact more lives with your services, with your consulting, with, the, with what you're creating. So this is one way to go by it, which is going to help you so much because it gives you the clarity and with clarity comes action and, you know, that direction, and that power. And that's what we want for you. So this is my first episode of the year. Please share below what you are taking away from this. Please co- uh, comment wherever you are going to work on. Share your goals and share and tag someone who need to hear this because this is all about making a bigger impact and helping others as well as you are growing your impact and you're helping more people. So that's all from me. I cannot look, I cannot wait to, to see you in the next episode as well. And until now, bye for now and have a great, great time with your creation of your game plan for Q1.